Hey, so I want to make a few uh, tutorials on how to make videos for free, mainly using the program Olive Video Editor right here. This is how uh, it looks. And as you can see, Olive is a free and open source video editor, meaning uh, that you don't have to pay for the software. Uh, it says over here, if you have paid for the software, you have been scammed. Uh, this software is completely for free. You don't have to pay anything for it uh, whatsoever. It's completely official, straight from their website. And Olive is quite cool because, in my opinion, it does go uh, compete head to head with uh, big name programs, for example, Adobe Premiere. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what you can do with Olive. So, with Olive, you can basically do one thing you can edit videos and what the th does that mean uh, that means that in olive you'll be able to make movies or videos so once you shoot a video or uh, you record a video with your phone your camera or your computer once you do that you can have the files or the video files and then uh, bring them into this program and this program will uh, allow you to select which clip goes first, which clip goes last, um, for how long should each clip uh, last, add some basic uh, effects, and uh, add uh, titles in screens at the beginning and, and at the end of the video. Basically, uh, once you record a video and make a graphics, here is where your video will take shape. What are some of the stuff that Olive cannot do. Olive is not a program to edit uh, your audio in. Olive has some basic audio capabilities, but Olive specializes in video editing and video editing alone. And that means that Olive is not a, a visual effects program. You cannot like create explosions. Uh, you cannot add like um, a 3D animation you cannot add uh, characters from CGI. You cannot add explosions. You cannot add uh, anything like that. Olive is just a program that edits video, meaning uh, you have a bunch of videos and you tell Olive, I want this video to come up first and this video to come next. That's what Olive does. So this is how Olive will look uh, for most of you guys. So Olive has a, a couple of sections for you. The main thing that you work on is on the timeline. Okay. Okay. This is the time right here. Then you have a preview. This is a little box in which you'll see how your video will end up looking like. Then you have your effects and settings page or panel. But within the panel, there's a secondary option for your media viewer in which you can preview your media. And in this panel, you'll see all of the media that you can choose from. And then something which is quite important and we need to uh, be reminded if you're a beginner, this section right here, this section will control and affect what happens when you click on a video from the timeline. So there are uh, our two, this is our tool panel, our clip panel or, uh, or media panel, our effects panel, hitting down, uh, hidden down here, our media preview panel, our preview panel. There we have also a little panel to preview uh, the levels of our audio. And first things first, uh, don't freak out. Okay, I, I did freak out the first time that I, I was uh, getting into uh, video editing. This is normal, don't worry. When you uh, move this thing right here, this thing is called your playhead. This is where the video is uh, located. So this video, of course, it starts at the beginning and it ends right here. But right now we're not looking at the beginning, right now we're looking whatever happens here that's where the play 
uh, where the playhead is located. And if we, we can scrub through the video by selecting the playhead and then moving it around. But don't freak out. When we scrub video, you will hear pretty strange noises. You'll actually hear the audio, which is beneath the playhead. So I'm about to do that. Don't freak out, that's normal. Let me lower my volume, that's quite high. So yeah, that scratchy noise, that's completely normal. Don't worry, don't freak out. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how to get the program. I have here my internet browser. Let me go to Olive uh, Video Editor dot org. This is Olive's official website. So let's just take a look at it. It says Olive, fast, powerful, and free. There's the there's the download button right away. What can it do? Here we see like a screenshot, how Olive looks. We already explored that a moment ago. Quite a lot. And new features are adding, being added every day. Even if Olive is missing something that you need, you can come back in a month or two and it's possible that we have implemented it. So yeah, let's just scroll to the top, click on download. Now at this point, let's uh, choose the version that we want to download. So this software only works on your computer. Uh, it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. If you have Linux, you'll find instructions on how to get it here. If you have Mac, you can just click it and the download will begin. Let me cancel that. And then you have Windows, you have to choose between four different options. Installers and portable. So what's the main difference? Installer means that you can download uh, Olive, a program that, would, that will install it for you. That's the one that I do recommend. But you can also choose a portable Olive. And that means that you can download uh, Olive into a USB drive and then take the USB drive out of your computer and put it into another Windows computer and you can take the program with you. That's quite cool. If you want to move the program around, you can choose portable. However, if you just have one computer like I do, just choose the installer. But as you can see, there are two different versions uh, for each installer and portable uh, Olive versions for Windows. So which one will we choose? We can choose a 64 or a 32 bit program. Okay, so let's choose the correct program. Let's find out if your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit. The first thing that you have to do is open up, let me close that down, to open up a new Explorer window, a new file uh, manager window. It will look something like this. Mine of course uh, is in Spanish, my computer um, is in Spanish. Let's go into this section right here, my computer in English. And then we have a bunch of folders for your music, your videos. And then there's the main drive of your computer, the main hard drive. Let's right click on it and click on properties. Of course, mine is in Spanish, but yours will say properties or something like that. Oh. So to find out if your computer, if your Windows computer is 64 or 32, let's go ahead and open up a folder. Let's go to my PC, my computer, and let's hover over my computer. And of course, mine is in Spanish, since my computer is in Spanish. Let's right click on my computer and hit properties. And here you will see the properties of your computer. As you can see, this is Windows 10, single 
language. That's why I can only use it in, in Spanish. And I can see here what processor do I have, what RAM do I have, type of system or system type. And it says over here on the on the third line, it says over here, operating system of 64 bits, 64 bit processor on your computer, of course. Of course, it will say so in English or whatever your uh, main language is. But of course, here you'll see if it's a 64 or 32. If it says 64, then choose the 64 bit version. So now I know that my computer is 64 bit. So let me close out of that and close out of that and choose the 64 bit installer. Just while that is being installed, let me go ahead and save the file. And I can see here, we can see here that actually uh, this program is completely for free. <laughs> and that means that uh, the developer, the programmer, uh, is getting actually paid for uh, his, his work. You can join his Patreon. Uh, when you download, just click become a, a Patreon. And then here you can just download like $1 per month or $5 per month. And once you do that, and by doing that, of course, you'll be supporting the developer. That means that the developers will get paid for uh, for making the program. That's quite cool because remember, you don't actually have to pay anything up front for enjoying the software. Just use it. Just click download and it'll be downloaded. If you have some extra money to spare, just send a few dollars over to our developers. It looks like we're almost done. Of course, I have uh, sped up a bit of the process, the download process. Let's wait an extra sec. It's completed. Let's click on it. I just uh, clicked on continue. I agree. Let's click on the installer. This is the Olive installer. Let's close out our web browser. I agree. What do you want to install the program? Or just the default will do just fine. Do you want Olive to create a, a desktop shortcut? Uh, yeah, why not? A start menu shortcut? Yeah, why not? Um, associated with Olive files? Why not? Let's just leave everything as it was and click on install. That's it. Olive is now showing up on our desktop. Let's click next and finish. And if you see the screen for the first time, congratulations, you have just installed Olive and it should be ready for you. So that's the end of, of this first uh, tutorial. On the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use the program to make some basic cuts. So yes, stay tuned for that. Subscribe um, if you want to see more of my content. I have my blog. I'll put that in the description or the screen. Um, and yeah, but yeah, thank you very much and happy editing.